We are now in the United States and uh, behind me here you see a Tesla Model 3 Performance. Yes, I'm going to do a range test with it. Uh, we are now at Burbank Supercharger and this car is fitted with 20 inch wheels. Yeah, that is uh, standard on these performance models. So um, I expect to get less range from this one than with uh, the, st the, stand well, the rear wheel drive long range I tested earlier. So we are now juicing up towards um, 100%. I'm not sure if I'll go to 100%. I'll probably stop at 99. You see, because this supercharger is somewhat busy. But, oh. So, here it is um, with white seats. Yeah. So, let me show you here. Ooh, like ultra white seats in the back. I kind of like this. But, um, how dirty will it be? Hmm. Yeah, but okay, let's wait for 100% or 99. Okay, it's been taking way too long and uh, we are still at 97% and charging at 1 kilowatt. So, uh, uh, I'm not sure like how old this car is. How, how do you see the odometer, by the way? Uh, well, I, can, I guess you can just check here. Yeah, okay. Uh, only 3,000 kilometers. It's a fairly fresh car, but still. Uh, I was thinking, oh, maybe it's, it's unbalanced, but uh, okay, whatever. So, Let's leave now at 97% and then we can just extrapolate the remaining uh, once we are back again. We have been driving for a bit, um, just following the, the Highway 5 now. And uh, the consumption so far is 196, that's a bit high. I expect it to be lower than that, but uh, I guess yeah, it, it needs some time to stabilize. Yeah. Uh, we have live stream going on there, all the pilot is on. Oh, this is awesome. Well, uh, we have just driven like half an hour, but uh, we have to take a quick restroom break. Uh, the charging took too long, but uh, we will not charge it. We'll just park here. The, the whole deal with the test is to see how far we can drive in a single charge. So, um, yeah, this is just the beginning of a long trip. Woo. stop was to see 120 but this is what we have to look at here uh, 162 that's since the last charge and uh, I don't expect getting 120 on this car uh, I'm guessing about 150 consumption so um, the temperature here is uh, 18 degrees Celsius the roads are dry so it's a nice drive yeah now we enter uh, the more uh, like the outskirts of uh, the city. So less traffic, way less traffic over here. Yeah. Wow, look at this landscape. I guess this is a typical mountain landscape here in America. I'm not used to it. So I'm used to more like the Norwegian mountain with snow and shit on it. Uh, and there's oh, oh, all the pilot. Yeah, I have all the pilot on right now. So, and I hold on steering wheel so it won't bug me uh, but you know I look at there was a sign saying that we are we were at the 3,000 mean 3,000 feet elevation and that is almost uh, 1,000 feet I mean sorry 1,000 meter so that that's pretty high uh, so I was thinking like why, why is consumption so high it's 195 but um, it's because of elevation so once we go down to the lowland soon uh, according to the map, it should go to the lowland. Then I guess it will drop like a rock. So hopefully we we'll see 150 or lower consumption. Oh, look here! Look here! Regenerative braking limited. You see, they have a, there's a dotted line here. Uh, we have been going massive downhill now, and I've seen this before when I told uh, Jürgen Winter Larsen's car. So it seems like if you regen for a long time, let's say more than five minutes, uh, the system will kind of overheat and then you get limited region. So, you know what? An e-tron wouldn't overheat like this. An e-tron would still region at full speed. So, uh, huh, huh, even the Model 3, which has better cooling, I wonder what, what limits this. Okay, but that was a massive drop here. And see, for the next uh, hour or so, for the next, <laughs> will be like, there'll be so straight roads here. Look, <laughs> this 
this is something I don't see very often in Europe. So flat and straight roads. Like super straight and super flat. <laughs> wow. Wow, look here. Okay, this is so flat. And they have, I guess, some farming going on over there. Look, it's like acid trip. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, but anyway, uh, I checked now that we have tailwind and we are averaging 138, but uh, we have to fight the wind on the way back. So I'm still guessing that uh, the total average will be 150. So uh, we will turn back once we hit um, 55%. Yeah, I think that's safe. Maybe I should even check it out at 60%, but um, yeah, okay. Let's do 55 then. Oh yeah, nice sunset. Just cruising on the I-5, heading north. Damn, these, uh, these pickup trucks are so huge here in the US. Yeah, so we have to cruise at 92, which is um, uh, 90 kilometers per hour. And you know, I get used to this, like, there's no instrument cluster here, but we have this one right over here. So, I mean, it's just a matter of getting used to it, because normally, you will just look down here to see the speed, but now we just look over here. So, you know, some cars, uh, I've seen some cars, some fossil cars, they have this speedometer here in the middle. So it's not that much different to look over here than look here, you know? So, uh, they have, just now they have designed it to be like this, so it's, um, if I had to choose between the Model 3, without the instrument cluster here, uh, or let's say, uh, Kona, Nero. Well, I'm glad to take the Model 3. Yeah. Okay, I brought the sound meter. And I have to shut up because we're driving at 90 kilometers per hour. Okay, about 66 decibel on smooth asphalt. to test this in Norway eventually yeah, so we can uh, compare the results with uh, with the other cars it's uh, 20 minutes past 5 and the Sun has set so over here it gets dark quickly yeah this is like winter in California uh, so um, just cruising along now we are at 58% and I figure that I will uh, turn around at the uh, where it's gone, that's Highway 46. Uh, yeah, I think that would be good. Like, we'll turn around at around 55%. We are now heading south again. Yes, uh, good, good, good. And if you look here, uh, we have, oh, let me adjust here a bit. So we have 54% left, and we have done 222 kilometers to get here, and we have. 209 kilometers to get to the supercharger, uh, Burbank supercharger. So um, I think that would be okay. Yeah, and the car estimates will arrive at 5%, but I'm not sure if the car knows that we will drive at 90 kilometers per hour. Uh, but so far, it seems like we might be able to drive 450. Yeah, totally. Wow, look, this is pretty cool. This is the feature we don't have in the model S and X. See here at night, uh, the foot wells are lit up. Yeah, they're always on. In the Model S and X, there's still foot well light, but they are not on when you're driving. And then on the side here, you have uh, also light in the, in the door pocket. But also here, look here. In this one, we also have light here. There's lots of storage space, and also there's this big. Um, like the opening here, this storage place here with awesome lights. So that, man, I love this. This is so nice for long trips because then you have your phone, you have your drink, you have your stuff here. So this car is like made for long road trips. Wow, the wind is pretty strong now. Uh, I wonder if it's stronger now in the evening rather than in the afternoon. But uh, see, consumption, Consumption for the whole trip has gone up. It was 
142 earlier, now it's 147. And we still have 150 kilometers to go. But uh, I heard from the live stream that uh, once we hit the mountains over here, there will be less wind. Hmm. So I hope we can make it back to the supercharger. <laughs> We are almost at the top of the mountain. Uh, I don't know this terrain, but I heard from the live stream people. Yeah. Uh, so the consumption is really high now, 171 for the whole trip. So we uh, we bail out and we go to uh, a different supercharger that we started with. It's called uh, Santa Clarita. Yeah. So it's safer to go there. We'll probably arrive at 10%, but there's really no point for me to drive it down to zero just to see how many kilowatt hours we get out. So uh, yeah, and for practical reason we stopped there. Oh, by the way, the road is so bumpy here. It's um, I guess it's it's not tarmac. It's probably concrete. So this is so common in Europe. I mean in uh, America to have these concrete roads. Very bumpy, but it's probably durable. We're now in the lowland-ish, still, uh, still some 1,200 meters, uh, I mean, 1,200 feet elevation. So actually, uh, this stop point would be uh, 600 feet or 200 meters higher than uh, where we started. But well, right, close enough. Let's see. Oh, it's so bumpy here. About 11 kilometers left, and we have 13%. Oh yes, we are finally back at the supercharger, so uh, I take no chances, and if you look at the screenshot here, uh, we ended up with 11%, and it's kind of far to the, the Burbank uh, supercharger. This is um, this is called um, uh, Santa Clarita, yeah, supercharger. So, um, alright, let's crunch some numbers here. So, we, we consumed 62 kilowatt hours, right? And... Um, that was 86% because we didn't charge to 100% and then we ended up with uh, 11. So that, based on that, we can say that, okay, that would have been 360 kilometers, uh, four, sorry, 460 kilometers. But keep in mind that we started at a lower elevation. So we actually, the consumption is higher and uh, stuff, you know? So I think on a good day, we you can do 400 and maybe 480 kilometers, which is, which is um, uh, 300 miles. Yeah, I would say my gut feeling says let's say 300. Uh, let's say 450 to 480. I'm not. I'm not sure if we can do 500 kilometers on this car. Yeah. But um, yeah, so interesting. So you know what we see here is that the performance models. This one, the performance model three and the performance model S and X they have lower efficiency than the non-performance um yeah so far every test i do you know shows that you have less efficiency that's that's the price you have to pay for more power yeah <laughs> so i will make another video uh, soon where i test the rear wheel drive uh, because that one has the 18 inch wheels uh, so hopefully we get um over 500 kilometers <laughs> so yeah anyway i think that will be it for now yes uh, i hope you guys enjoy this video so as always thank you for watching and uh, before i end you know if this video convinced you into buying a tesla model s or x or model 3 uh, you can consider using uh, uh, the owner's uh, referral link so just look in the description below so um, yeah he's he was so kind to lend me this awesome car this model 3 performance so yes just uh, all right so anyway so talk to you guys later